One of the things I try and convey to all of my viewers are options. Options for indoors or outdoors, having the versatility to survive, or as they call it now, prepping in uh, difficult or various situations. Now, I do not endorse anyone spend their hard earned money on this channel, especially those who have limited income. There is nothing to fear. It's simply made if it fits your budget and it fits your lifestyle, then by all means, you may want to invest in it. That's the key word. You may want to invest in it. Here's a product that I have here. Okay, in this product, I have two of them. We are going to go through an unboxing here and I'm going to share this product with you. In the meantime, this product uses a fuel called isobutane. And this fuel is wonderful. Let's get a closer look at this fuel here. And you can see it's isobutane, 230 grams fuel cartridges. When I purchase any of my fuel um, for any of my um, devices, I always purchase in bulk. So what do I do? Well, there you are. I like to purchase in bulk because you just never know where you may end up at depending on your situation. So let's open this uh, item up and let's see what it looks like. And I'm gonna share some more detailed information for you. Now, as you see here, this is the wind burner duo stove system. MSR is the company. Now, this feeds up to two people and it has one liter of water that you could fill the container with. So let's open this product up and let's see what it has inside. Now, according to the website, you could actually place one of these canisters inside of here because these ultimately you wanna place in your backpack or on your uh, persons in order to get to whatever destination you need to and that makes it portable. So let's open this up here. Oh, look like the whole unit comes out in one piece. Nothing else in the box. We're going to set that aside. It's got a handle here. So this is made so that you can actually pick up your device even when the liquid inside is hot. Very important to know that. So let's take off the bottom here, which serves with... Um, measuring uh, levels here. And uh, you can also use this to drink your coffee. At least that's what the um, public <laughs> research states. So let's put this aside here. We're gonna take the lid off. Here's the bottom. We're gonna take the lid off here. It has a little lip on the end. So it's a snug fit. Place that to the side. Inside of here, you're going to get some items. So let's pull this one out. Okay, here's your propane stove here. You see what it looks like here? One, two, three legs to top the burner. And here's your igniter over here. Okay, so let's get up in here and look a little closer at this item. All right. So the legs supposedly come out like so. and you can set this like that, okay? You can also retract them and so forth. So again, we know how that works. Let's set this down and let's take our stove. We have some uh, padding in here. We're gonna set that aside and we have some directions. If you're not someone that's keen on visual, then I suggest you um, definitely read the direction, okay? If you're auditory, auditory or whatnot. So we're gonna place this right on here. And it sits snug and sits right on top. Now, of course, you wanna make sure this is on a level surface, okay? And that's very important. And check your device when you get it, making sure that nothing in here is protruding. It should be leveled and flush. Okay, so again, we go here. Now, according to the website, 
you could actually place um, one of these canisters inside of here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. You can see that you have some measuring cups in here or measuring levels. So let's go ahead and do the opposite. The first thing we wanna do is make sure we take this around like this, retract these legs like so. Um, you don't have to keep this label on. I'm gonna keep it on for right now because this is one of my newer units. But let's go ahead and put this inside of the container here. Get it flat as possible. Okay. And then we're going to take one of our um, ISO um, butane and we're going to place that right in there. Just like so. Okay. We're going to now take our lid. Okay. And you can see that you have your ventilation here and you have your lip here. I would put my lip not close to where the handle is if you um, may have difficulties getting them off. So go ahead and line it up. Close that down. Snap it. So now you have an all-in-one cooking device right here. Look at that. Okay, go ahead and put your bottom back on. And you can put this in your bug out bag or in your vehicle, your bike's uh, backpack, your bags that you carry on your bikes like your pantiers. Matter of fact, let me get one of my smaller hiking backpacks and let's see how that fits. Here is my backpack I've had for many years when I ride my road bike. My road bike when I'm exercising. If anybody knows about bikes, you'll understand what I mean by road bike. Um, this is a small backpack. And let's take this additional water here out. Not that you can't carry water, but when you have a bike, your water is normally attached to the bike itself. Here it is here, I got plenty of room left. No bulging, there it is. Okay, so very easily done. No struggling to take it out. And you can access it and your contents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I think I'm set for a nice day trip. In fact, for a few days. You folks take care of yourselves. And until next time, Shalom.